EVX Life marks a return to form for Electrovoice, who wallowed in the mire for a while with merchant bank investor type people driving the firm and starving it of R&D. Here it is. X Live, yeah. There's uh, there's uh, several models in the range, um, and there's a passive and uh, self-powered versions as well. This is the ELX 112P. Um, there, this is a single 12 and horn. There's a 15 and horn, and there's uh, an 18 sub, um, and they're all available as passive units as well. And the passive line adds to this mix also a dual 15 and horn, which is something um, EV have done quite well over the years. Yeah, if you the, look back to the EVXs and the mongoose and stuff. Availability of a passive, as in not amplified box, alongside the amplified boxes, makes these relatively unique in the market. The other thing that's really encouraging is at a very low retail price point, this is actually a timber cabinet. Um, I don't know about you, James, but I'm really over plastic. Yeah, look, I think I think everything's got its place. Um, and as I said in the print review, I, I rocked into a little venue to, to do a walk-in gig uh, a couple of months back and, and met the a new breed of PA system whose brand I'd never actually heard of before. And it was pretty awful. Um, it was clearly purchased sort of with price as a main consideration and, and stuff like this, um, which is which is geared towards working in a retail kind of environment or uh, so sort of that MI market sector is really good thing because it brings a known brand name you know, with with good support. I mean, you look at the EV support network, it's huge. It's Bosch. So it's Bosch it's, and, and Bosch is where the money came from for the research and development which is very encouraging. So, um, it's the fully featured box, even though it's an MI. When we say MI, we mean music shop price point. Mm. You should be able to pick this up almost anywhere. Um, good features are combo, neutro, neutro, neutric, 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 con. That's the one. So the Jack, XLR, TRS. XLR uh, combo connector, C cutaway. Yeah. Um, which tends to confuse the young players. It, it delighted me greatly to see a young person hesitantly looking at that. And, and I just say, stick it in. Just stick it in. And if it goes in, that's great. If it doesn't fit, then you've tried. It doesn't work with speak on connectors. No, nor would it. No. Um, the, the, the input panel on the back is, uh, has got two sections. It's got a line input side and it's got a mic or line input version. Um, so you can, you can plug a line or mic directly in uh, or a mixture of both and then you can have either just the line signal as a loop through yep. or you can have the mixed, the mixed version as a loop through so you can cascade off to other boxes as a master attenuator. There's this little switch that turns the illuminated EV logo on the front on and off because like that. that's an important thing. Um, Look, as, as far as how it, it's packaged and marketed, the specs on it are a little bit nebulous. It's, it's a thousand watt amplifier power. They're MI and, specs. And it's good from 53 hertz up, but it doesn't tell you what sort of uh, efficiency any of that is. But it sounds okay. It sounds really good. Um, for the money, I, I really like this. I like it a lot as a wedge, actually, probably more than, um, probably more than a front of house cab. Um, now, I, I did the plug in the standard vocal mic and uh, turn it up and I hit the limiters before I hit feedback um, when I was running in the with sub mode, uh, which which does some DSP yeah. trickery. And Wedge with sub, yeah. great idea, not. Um, you're a guru, the, yeah. the driver, the 12 inch driver in this, is it pressed metal or is it a proper cast frame? I don't know. Why not? You're the guru. I haven't pulled it apart. You're supposed to pull them I apart. I didn't feel the need to see what made it tick because it ticks all right without me interfering. You mean you haven't applied metering and no. scientific analysis? I applied my ears. It's pretty scientific. <sighs> Lord help us all. Um, there, is, there is a single carry handle only, um, and I think the reasoning behind that is because it's so light, you really you don't need two handles to get this onto a stand. It's an, it's an easy one person lift. Um, look, it's got a top hat so you can stick it on a stand. Um, presumably with the sub you can use an extendo pole and do sub pole top box. Um, from what I understand, the 12, the, the horn in the 12 sort of sits slightly more forward than the 15. So the 15 I, I would suggest would be uh, more of a sort of DJ style box, whereas the 12 I think is gonna be more satisfying for um, for pro audio users who are looking for something that works 
on a stage, which it does. Uh, for the money, I, I don't think you can argue. It's, it's a good box. Uh, and that's all. Thank you.